Hi, welcome to my channel, and today I'm going to be reading the story of the tortoise and the hare. The tortoise and the hare. The tortoise and the hare were neighbors. The hare was always in a hurry, looking Because that was a really quick story, I'm going to go ahead and read the story of the noisy ant, of the noisy dinosaur. Toby T. Rex was feeling sad. The other dinosaurs didn't want to hang out with him anymore. They said he was too noisy and too clumsy. But he was a big dinosaur, and big dinosaurs were meant to be noisy and stomp and cross around, weren't they? Toby's roar was so loud that it blew the leaves off the trees and this triceratops came rusting off the line into the muddy swamp. His huge feet were so stompy, stompy that when he walked through the forest, the earth trembled and trees crashed to the ground. When he played dino football, he left huge craters in the field. Day after day, all Toby heard was, Toby, please be quiet. Oh, Toby, now look what you've done. With a loud sigh and a big cross, Toby sat under his tall tree. If only I weren't so clumsy and noisy, he cried loudly. No one likes me. Toby's sobs got louder and louder. Toby, don't cry, soothed Mr. Triceratops. Of course we like you. But just because you're big doesn't mean you have to stomp and roar at the top of your voice. And if you move more slowly, you won't knock things over. Really? I think I can try that. Toby. Slowly, he stood up and took a few small steps. No trees crossed to the ground. Oh, look, Toby whispered using his softest voice. It works. The other dinosaurs smiled. Toby grinned and took a few more steps on his tippy toes. I can do it, he said using his small voice. It's not so hard. Cross. Oops, Toby roared loudly as he tripped over his own feet. Everyone laughed. Oh, Toby, sighed Mr. Sartop, smiling. I think it's going to take some practice, but you'll get there in the end. Um, since the video is only still four minutes, I'm going to go ahead and try to read another story to make it longer. And this time, the story is going to be about the two brothers. Once upon a time, there were two brothers who lived at the bottom of a mountain. One was rich, but cruel and selfish. The other was poor, but kind and honest. The poor mother had many children, and the day came when there was not enough food in the house to feed them all. He went to his rich brother and asked him for a loaf of bread, but the wicked man threw him out and called him a beggar. The poor man couldn't face returning home empty-handed. It was a cold evening, and he remembered having heard a legend that the top of the mountain in Kingston was made of crystal and had a fire forever burning on it. I will try and find this internal fire and warm myself up. Then I will have the strength to find some food for my family. The man climbed high. 
higher and higher up the mountain and couldn't reach the top. There, sitting around the fire, were twelve strange beings. Good people, whispered the man. Please let me warm myself at your fire. Of course, replied one of the twelve. Come and sit with us. When the man drew near, an old man appeared in the flames. Return home with as many embers as you need, said the strange wizard. The tall stranger filled a sack with embers. Humbly thanking them, the man set off. To his astonishment, when he arrived home, he found the sack to be full of gold pieces. The man was now rich and could provide for his family. He was overjoyed at the kindness of the strangers on the mountain. When his greedy rich brother had heard of his good fortune, he decided to go up on the mountain to get his own gold. When he arrived, he told the twelve strangers that he was poor and cold. But instead of giving him a sack of gold, the strangers turned on him. You have lied to us. You shall be punished, they cried. They took the him to the old man in the fire, and the rich brother disappeared into the flames. Months went by, and the rich man didn't return home. No one knew what had happened to him. His brother had his suspicions, but wisely kept them to himself. I'm trying to get the video to be at least 10 minutes long, so I'm going to read um, a couple of poems. So yeah, let's get started. I plant a little seed. I plant a little seed in the cold, cold ground. Out comes the yellow sun, big and round. Down comes the raindrops, soft and slow. Out comes the flower, grow, grow, grow. One man went to mow. One man went to mow. Went to mow a meadow. One man and his dog. Went to mow a meadow. Two men went to mow. Went to mow a meadow. Two men, one man, and his dog. Went to mow a meadow. And you can keep adding verses as far as you can count. A swarm of bees in May. A swarm of bees in May is worth a load of hay. A swarm of bees. Yeah, a swarm of bees. And food is worth a silver spoon. A swarm of bees in July is not worth a fly. Four seeds in a row. Four seeds in a row. Four seeds in a row. One for the mouse. One for the crow. One to rot and one to grow. Garden corn. Early in the misty morn, the miller's up to grind some corn. Wheels turn, stocks will fill. As he grinds corn in his mill. The video still is really start, so I'm going to go ahead and read some more poems. Zap, zap, the bricks are burning. Zap, zap, the bricks are burning. All to a cinder. If you don't come and fix it out, you will throw it through the window. Five little peas. Five little peas in a pea pod press. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and they grew, and they did not stop. Until one day, the pod went pop. Higgledy, piggledy, higgledy, piggledy, here we lie. Pecked and plucked, we put in a pie. Peace pudding hot. Peace pudding hot, peace pudding cold. Peace pudding in the pot, nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold. Some like it in the pot, nine days old. Here's the ladies' knives and forks. Here's the ladies' knives and forks. Here's the ladies' table. Here's the ladies' cup. Yeah, here's the ladies' looking glass. And here's the baby's cradle. Rock, rock, rock. Bread and milk for breakfast. Bread and milk for breakfast. And woolen socks to wear. And a cornbread robin breakfast on the cold days of the year. Um, that's it for today, and hope you enjoyed the video.